three. Yeah, good afternoon. We're back with you here, and uh, we're still uh, working on this, uh, well, this Lon G500 here. And uh, it, it did come out with that without any fuel tank. So uh, and I showed you this uh, little fuel tank off of a uh, Clinton engine and how we uh, put phosphoric acid inside of it and let it set for quite some time and uh, to clean it all out. And there was a lot of debris that, that did come out of it. However, it did. Uh, you know, the rust had eaten through the spout of this uh, fill cap right here. So rather than solder that, and I, I could not find the proper fill cap for it, rather than solder it, we took the uh, the JB Weld, which, uh, you know, it's advertised as being for fuel tanks. So we went around the inside of the rim of this uh, spout here with J.B. Weld. Well, Marisu did. Marisu did this. And uh, it, it sagged down inside, and then we got the inside kind of good right there. And then on our second coat, after we found out that it had broken through, we uh, gave it another coat and they would this time we turned it this way and it started sagging down. So that's when we took this cap and this cap is the original cap. We took the cork out and we cut out a, uh, a rubber, a uh, piece of rubber for the seal. And we just screwed the cap down on there And uh, it gave it this nice seal up here. It's nice and even. There were some dents in here. So we rejuvenated this uh, little darling of a uh, fuel tank here. And we're going to be putting it on here on this uh, tractor here to, you know, kind of find out all about the engine here and uh but we'll definitely be putting a uh a fuel filter on this one because i'm really not quite sure you know they ought to really have a uh, coating for the insides of fuel tanks so anyway we're, we got this going here we're waiting on parts again you know you know it's always like a a dollar waiting on a dime. So uh, we did put a battery to this, got it whirling, we got new oil into it, uh, got it cleaned up and wiped off. The underside is uh, in good shape, got the belt on, everything's uh, uh, in fine shape. However, this carburetor here, even though we did get it to fire off, we, we just put a battery here and, you know, connected the uh, positive to the, uh, your starter and then hit the, uh, the negative and shot a little bit of ether in here with the choke closed and, uh, it hit. However, here's what we have found on the fuel inlet. And Mary Sue has already kind of dug some of this out, but uh, you can see this end here. But it was uh, completely uh, choked up with uh, debris and, and such. So we'll get that cleaned out. And I suppose we'll have to pop the bottom of the, you know, card bowl off here and get that cleaned up. And, and uh, but we know we got spark the starter works and uh, it did hit. So uh, also we, we did uh, have to redo the, the throttle here. You know, that was another modification on this because uh, 
of the plastic shroud that was over this, which is no longer, uh, well, we mounted it here. We did have to shorten up the throttle cable a little bit, about three inches. But uh, other than that, oh, one other thing uh, before we uh, close. It did have that uh, dipstick up here on top of the, uh, of your uh, motor engine shroud. And the bottom of that, where it screws into your oil fill here, well, that, that had a longitudinal crack up the side of it, so that would probably explain a lot of the uh, oil leakage on this particular engine. So, anyway, we took it all completely off and just uh, instead just put a regular uh, oil cap on there. So, Anyway, I think that uh, we've covered enough for today. Uh, kind of brought you up to date, you know, still waiting on parts and stuff like that. So, and plus, you know, we got other things we, we like to be doing also. So, we'll see you on our next video and we'll keep you going on uh, how we're doing on these uh, projects here. Thank you for watching. We hope that we've helped you and We'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye.